Hey, I'm Dennis with Stereo and Video Center here in Tyler, Texas. Uh, Stereo and Video Center actually started as Stereo and Record Center back in 1972. So this would be the 52nd year. Uh, changed over to Stereo and Video Center in the 80s uh, and we are going strong here in 2024. Uh, we have one location right now uh, here in Tyler, Texas. Uh, we have 24 employees that man this location. Uh, so we're here to take care of business. So we worked on the mission statement uh, is to be our customer's best source, uh, most honest, trustworthy source of information and technology. Um, we, we understand that our role is to be a service provider and we are a service-based company. So whether or not we are installing uh, equipment in people's cars and trucks or installing something in their home, um, it's not about the product, it's about the service that we provide to the company. All right, biggest challenge that you've overcome. That I've overcome. Personal uh, or professional? You know, I think the, I think the hardest part um, in the business is is the relationships, uh, relationships with your customers, relationships with uh, your employees. Um, luckily or not luckily, but by design, uh, we've really cultivated a great culture here at the store. So the problems with employees have really minimized. Uh, the hard, the biggest thing that we overcome is going to be that difficult customer. You know that customer that you just cannot make happy it doesn't matter how much that you discount it how much you try uh, they they're just not going to be satisfied and um, one of the best skills that we've developed over the years is how to identify that customer up front and avoid them all right what makes our business unique um, well I think one of the things that we do we are one of the very few companies left that still do automotive and home so they, there's a lot of companies that in the uh, the early 2000s decided to go away from car audio we kind of doubled down on it and said hey let's go ahead and just be the guy in town uh, so we've really uh, grown that side of our business so as far as the car car audio automotive um, and all the services that we provide on that side I think really sets us apart um, from a lot of the other uh, just straight home audio video companies. So, um, sales performance over the last three years, I can tell you have been pretty steady for us, uh, but I really put that to the fact that we've worked really hard to grow the business and then I think if the economy would have been a little bit stronger in the last three years, I think our business would have grown a lot more, but right now we've been actually fighting to keep it at the same levels. So um, I can I can say for sure that uh, next year looks like it's going to be a little bit stronger based on this last, uh, last two quarters. Um, but the last couple years have really been tough to actually have any type of growth. Um, even though we're here in East Texas, which is um, really like a nice insulated area as far as like the national economy goes. All right, so why should we be part of the top 50 uh, retailers? Well, um, without being you know too braggadocious or so, I mean, I really feel like we've got a great culture, a great service oriented business that really focuses on the end user, on the customer, their experience here at the store, uh, waiting for their vehicles to be done or being able to actually demonstrate, listen to the product and really talk to knowledgeable people about what they want to get done. So um, we work really hard for that to stay up, trained, ready to go, ready to help our, our customers. Uh, the other side of it is I think um, because we are one of these companies that can offer not only the home, car, boat, leather, window tinting, but then we also can take them straight into their home and put in a home theater, do their networking, do big motorized shades outside on their patio. Uh, we offer our clients a full range of experiences and integrations.